What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to be testing Tesla's full self-driving software. Um, I was a skeptic of this for the past six months, maybe being like, damn, Tesla's falling behind. Is it even getting better? This is the whole future of the company is resting on them developing autonomous vehicle software. I've got the full self-driving beta and version 10.11.2, which is what I'm on now, has been by far the best version ever. I've started going from not using it at all to using it almost all the time. It's super convenient. It makes driving super stress-free. Um, it's still not perfect. Perfect, but I know when to use it and I feel like I know when it's gonna do well so I wanted to take y'all along for a ride with me um, check out this new version and show you just how amazing this is and how despite all the Twitter drama um, you know Tesla's markets are crumbling this that well guess what the fundamentals of Tesla's self-driving technology are better than ever let's roll here we go folks fresh off the supercharge let's do this oncoming cars taking a left Waited for them, now we go, woo, look at that. And if you're new to the Tesla software, this is how you can tell that I'm, uh, you, in, the software is engaged, um, this little blue thing on the wheel. The coolest thing, this is why I think Elon is like Steve Jobs, Tesla's got this Apple-esque quality. It's just all about the user experience. It's so easy, it feels magical. All you do is do a double top down on this stock and it goes boom, it has this magical sound and you engage it and you go. Normally I would slow it down ahead of curves um, and that was a big reason I wasn't using the software but now it's just I have a lot more confidence it's a lot smoother so I don't feel the need to like adjust the speed as much which has been really nice as I adjust the speed. Cars in front of us we're doing right on red it looks like we're gonna do that too I mean this is wow the, like these are the moments where I'm like wow that was so human like such an awesome experience Okay, no disengagement. I w that was definitely the first like, what are we doing move? But uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't I didn't disengage it. The car, everything is fine. I didn't intervene, and I was actually literally just thinking before that how dope it is that there hasn't been a single intervention or stressful moment. <laughs> it says I'm not supposed to be in this lane, as you can see. Wow, nice. I thought I was definitely gonna have to intervene there, but it did it. taking you the monorail yeah it read this light wrong My favorite challenge in the world of self-driving. Oh, we got a door opening. We got pedestrians crossing. This is it, folks. This is it. What's the whip gonna do? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Damn. All right, I. Th <laughs> 
Uh, okay, I think it was gonna do it, but because it wanted to go wide, because then it's got to go left. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try again. Monorail test number two. Let's go. Hyper ship. You got this. I'm gonna get honked at. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get speed way down. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You got this. Ooh, uh oh. Now it's gonna have to figure out how to get. See, the guy behind us did the wide. I don't know. I don't know. See, it's gotta get. It's gotta make that left. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, it's just. It's hard to tell if it sees it, right? I don't know. I'm not looking at this really much. When I'm when it's happening, because it's it's just a lot going on. But I gotta look at the road. But it doesn't even have the turn signal on. Interesting. Oh, now it's gonna go. So it says it's supposed to go left, and it's put on its right turning signal. But here it says it's gonna turn. This is, I've never seen this. Right, y'all. It says it's about to go right. And it put on, oh, now it changed it to left. And now it's going left. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to see what happens here. All right, this is about to be, I think it's gotta give up. What is it gonna do? Why is it going this way? Uh-oh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And I went the wrong way, up a one way. This is not good, oh fuck. Oh fuck, this is not good. Damn, this is the worst L. The Oh shit, okay, I'm turning around, it's all good. We're safe, we're safe. Science. Monorail test number three, baby. Numero tres. Uh-oh, we got slow pedestrians here. Getting honked at. Oh, and now we're gonna do it. Third time's the charm. Let's go, let's go. Woo, hey, hyper shit, let's go. That was smooth. I kind of feel like the pedestrians uh, caused that. Like we got lucky with the pedestrians kind of forcing it to take the wide. So the game's the game though. to take a left there decided not to okay hey interesting and now it's going for a totally new way all right fuck that guy's changing lanes too i don't i don't know what's happening i don't want to go on the highway so that's why i took over all right so there it is the drive on 10.11.2 I feel like I was a little too hyped getting into it. Elon's right, might need a little more work before it goes out to wide release. But I mean, overall, if you compare this to my first videos, way less intervention, still way smoother. And at the end of the day, even though it doesn't look perfect in this video, I can't stress enough that my confidence in this newest version, like just feeling it and just spending time with it is higher than ever. Um, and this is just, FSD is so weird. Like some drives, it'll be like, oh my God, the software is doing horrible. Um, they're going way backwards. And then other drives, you're like, wait, like this is incredible. This is the future, like they have it solved. And so I think it's really hard to see this, the linear progression or just how it's getting better. because. It, to me, it's all over the place. And I think the reality of it is two steps forward, one step back. And it's two steps forward, one step back. Rewrite, improve. And so that's just going to be the pattern. And it's just going to be a long slog for Tesla to honestly get to the truly self-driving car. But I got to say, I just felt like I had to make this video because I the breaking news is this. I finally have started to use FSD as just a normal person who drives their car and I'm a super cautious driver and it actually is super useful for me and I have it with my friends in the car who don't care about Tesla, who don't like it, and they don't even usually notice the car's driving itself. So um, anyway, huge shout out to Tesla, Elon, Autopilot, FSD team. Like I just, every time I test this software, I'm like, I can't believe my car's driving myself. I totally live in the future. This is epic. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Have a great day. Peace.